All right, so what we're going to be working on today specifically is we're going to learn how we can actually delete a project if necessary, but the idea of actually making it so we can give our projects uh, from here to home and recover them from the GitHub application to us at home so we can make changes at either location so we can get our homework done. So as you can see right here, we have my regular project right here for my Marshmallow Monster. I have the changes we just made today. They are clearly listed right here inside my code where we have the idea that I have my new add of my method for my calling my display monster GUI in my controller class. And my output class also has that same monster GUI class, or sorry, that monster GUI method. So I can actually um, call that method I just, def um, or define the method, excuse me, that I just called right there. So now they've obviously made those changes, I need to make sure I hit save so it's committed to GitHub. And get that committed, so it's saved right here and we'll go to our GitHub application. And inside GitHub you can see that we have those changes that have been made to controller and to output. We want to give it, of course, a nice little summary. In this case, I am adding a pop-up GUI method. Again, we're always using the idea of a full sentence because we want to make sure this is clear and understandable to not just us, but to anyone who would possibly see this. Um, if we want to give it more detailed information, we put it in the description tab. We simply hit commit to master. And then because I'm showing this for the end of the day, I'm going to assume at this point that I'm also going to hit sync. So I'll sync all my changes up to GitHub. So it's all up there online. And my sync on this, if I were to look at this online on the website version, it would be available on there as well. So let's verify that really fast. So I'll go over here to Chrome, make a new window, and we'll go to github.com. And I have Marshmallow Monsters AM. And that one where I just made a commit 44 seconds ago, we can see that my commit was made. So my commit is live right now on the internet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my project. So I'm going to go back to Eclipse. I'm going to restore my view back down here. And if you wish to follow along with me, that's great. Once you've committed and synced, it is up on the web. We are good to go. So I'm going to right click on my project. I'm going to choose delete. And inside this pop-up window, there's this lovely little checkbox to say delete project contents on disk cannot be undone. This is, you're actually removing the files from the hard drive. So I am officially now deleting this project off my hard drive. So I'm gonna hit okay. And Marshmallow uh, contains files that are on sync. Okay, hit continue. Refresh it, my, my project is not here, it is gone. To verify it's gone, we'll go over to Finder. Inside Finder, I look in my uh, workspace. Oh look, Marshmallow Monster AM is gone. My code is gone, it's deleted. I, I completely removed it from my hard drive. Ah. Oh, okay, well, that's all right. So I want to be able to recover my information. I've already checked that it is on github.com's website, and I want to bring it back so I can now make changes to it. So this is really hard. I click over on my GitHub application, and my monsters right here is it's not listed, so I'm gonna hit remove. It's not seen in my workspace. I'll hit remove out of there, it's gone. But up here in the top left, I have this lovely little plus sign. Okay, I'll click on that. And I have add, create, or clone. I will choose clone. And inside my Cody Hendrickson dash CTEC, I have a whole bunch of other projects. And one of them is Marshmallow Monsters AM. I will clone Marshmallow Monsters AM. And where am I going to clone this to? Well, I'll cho choose my workspace. So instead, not the 2014 workspace for some crazy reason. I'm not in 2014, 2015 anymore. So I go to my documents. Oh, there's my 2015, 2016 workspace folder. I'll choose that as my folder. Select clone. Marshmallow Monsters AM is cloning. Hey, look, there's all of my history here inside GitHub. I will go over back to Eclipse. I right click on Eclipse. I go to import, I go to existing projects, I browse over back to my workspace folder, and there is my project listed, Marshmallow Monsters AM, so in my case it's the documents folder and then the workspace folder. The Marshmallow Monsters, and I just choose the workspace, the root folder, not the actual project folder. And there's Marshmallow Monsters AM. It's right there inside that workspace. It already has a selection box. 
I can't import the ones that are already there because they already exist. Oh, that's good. And I hit finish. Now, obviously, at home, you wouldn't be deleting the project. All you would have to do is simply go to your GitHub application at home, choose the clone option from your online repository. I could pick another one that I've done. I could pick on, say, for example, my IO project. I hit clone IO project. It'll ask me where I want to clone it to. I'll, con I'll continue clone it to my existing workspace. I hit clone. Brings in that project. I'd go back over here. I choose import existing projects in a workspace. I hit next. The root directory that I choose is my workspace folder. It's already selected easily. Makes it nice. I hit open. And now I have listed the IO project that I can import that as well. I hit finish. And my code for my IO project is also added to my code. And so all the code for that is listed as well. So this way I can make changes on either location, either at home or at school. When I hit commit at home and then sync, it will be available to me when I sync it back at school automatically.